Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Gabriel Paulista card to review today. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is two star, two star, six foot one, low high for defensive work rates while being a high and average plus body type. So guys, this card, just like most of the showdown cards they uh, release, needs the upgrade. But at the same time, not really, right? Like, let's just say, for instance, you know, meta of the game wise, you guys know that the pace in this game is hugely important. Okay, I'm just I'm just saying it is. It's just a thing that we have to talk about. Okay, but with him being a showdown card with the potential upgrade that he could be getting on the shadow chemistry style, he is currently in a decent area. I'm just saying that because of law passes and through balls. You want higher pace nowadays. I'm just saying it's just it's just the vibes, right? But 94, 93 is still in a very, very decent area currently on a shadow chemistry style because the main thing here, and I always tell you guys this, okay? Because I feel like they watch because they're, they're doing this to most of the cards now. Physical stats or base card stats is already high. That's the main thing, okay? Because if this card gets upgraded, you're probably still going to give him a shadow chemistry style, but he'll have higher pace. His dribbling stats for a center back is in a really, really good area. And he actually has passing capabilities too, right? So a lot of very interesting variables with this Gabriel Paulista because with him being a Brazilian player with a low high work rate, there's a lot of potential there. There really is if they upgrade him the right way. Because here's the thing too, depending on how much they boost pace, which I don't think so, I don't think would be in the fives and sixes, an anchor could probably be ideal too, right? But you guys know you got to give the shadow chemistry out to most of these guys in this game for sure. Uh, so with this card, guys, has passing capabilities, which is fantastic for a defender. The dribbling is set up in a nice area or decent area. The reactions to composure, it's always nice when that's improved as much as possible, especially with the upgrade that they could potentially give him. Um, with the high and average plus body type and a 94 acceleration, 93 for sprint speed. I don't expect his running to be the craziest in like a three back formation, but in a four back formation, this would probably be mostly fine, I would say. But we always try them out in a three back because we want to test them out, the running and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, yeah, defensively, he's going to have very, very good stats on the shadow chemistry style too. Uh, and then with physical capabilities, like I said, it's already good for base card stats as well. So we're going to be using Gabriel Paulista in a three back formation. So let's see what we have here. Oh, yeah. Never did the uh, review for this card, but ended up being pretty nice. Look at this card on an anchor, eh? Not bad. Shadow is the only thing that's currently on him because of the card from before. But I don't think we ever used this bad boy. Do you have an anchor? We do. Anchor chemistry style. Very solid card. Wow. <laughs> He's probably one of the few cards that people actually had this card because he needed that upgrade too, you know, but he looks really nice now. Um, anyways, let's uh, let's do some things here. So we'll do defender review. So we'll do the pressure one. We'll do the pressure one. Renan Lodi Vinicius. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's try them out. Animation, but nothing happened there. What a weird way to get the ball, eh? I did okay there. We'll take it. First time pass. He has a little bit of a weird sway to him. Trigger. There we go. Did a good AI block there. I'll trigger tackle again. Good block. That whole play was pretty decent. Not bad. His marking was a little bit strange like earlier though, like him kind of going to the bottom, but I guess it makes sense because he was kind of cutting out that pass lane from that one guy, you know? Oh, 
Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Good challenge again. It's not a bad uh, pass to give away because in that area you do need to control the middle of the pitch, you know, but I just want to see what he would do AI wise. So I get the initial challenge, but then he does get the ball back, unfortunately. Well done. I'm going to catch him on the transition like this. And then uh, over the bar. Oh, OK. Let's see what he does here. Simple pass as well. His marking is kind of strange in those situations. A little bit, a little bit. He did follow that run of the entire time. I'll trigger this one. Oh, no chance. This is him, right? Yeah, it is. He let that right through. It's a little weird. Well done, well done. What do you do here? Let's switch to him, I'll trigger. There we go. Nice, that's me actually challenging right there. So from what I'm getting so far, guys, with this card is that um, he definitely feels very decent right now, for sure. But with both him and the Canales card, there's crazy potential because I like the animation choices that Gabriel's making for some of these challenges. It's just that right now, obviously, it's like there's better center backs that exist. It's that physical being really good that I'm looking at because if he gets an upgrade on the card, you can give him like a shadow chemistry style in the future and his physical for base card stats is improved, that would be kind of nuts, you know? How am I seeing this squad for this long? I'm so surprised. Oh, that's why. Yeah, if he gets that pace, but that's going to be crazy. Save it. There you go. Yeah, I like his transition speed, too. It's actually pretty nice. Nice challenge. That's actually solid. He's huge when he goes in for that, eh? That's what she said. Make that pass. There you go. Push him now. Okay, you messed up. Thank you. Slide challenge gets up easy, easily. Oh, we're good. Yeah, he has that like good explosiveness to him. Definitely noticing that. Dribbling on the ball for a center back is pretty solid too. Look, even though he missed that ball, that challenge was a really good challenge. That, that animation is dope. Back in position quickly, too. <laughs> Get it, Paulista. Yes. Yeah, he has nice transition. I like that. That's really good, actually. So those situations, right, where his marking is a little bit strange in the middle, that's not really like a huge issue because you're supposed to be marking that area anyways. Like you're supposed to actually control those guys uh, to block out like a through pass or a lot pass. Honestly, just like the Sergio Canales card, this card has a ton of potential too, man. OK, guys, so final verdict on the new Gabriel Paulista card. So EA honestly should do something where Let's say, for instance, one of the cards wins, right? And then the other card doesn't get upgraded. I feel like they should still do something where it's like, you know, three months down the road, if you still have the card in your squad, they'd give you the, the upgrade anyways. You know what I'm saying? Because these SPCs, they're so weird because, I mean, they're created the way that they're supposed to be created, right? They, it's, a, it's a gamble at the end of the day. 
Both of these cards, guys, are really good when it comes to potential, okay? The potential for both of these SPCs is very solid. Gabriel Paulista currently is a player that can play in the meta of the gameplay really well. Uh, the only thing that you're going to be missing is the pace. But you know what I'm going to tell you is that even if he doesn't have the pace, he's making up for it a lot in his dribbling capabilities with that body type that he has. Like, you have to understand, someone who has a high and average plus body type while being six foot two, while being able to transition as quickly as he is, is really, really nice to work with. The places where he wasn't marking certain areas well enough, I don't really care if he does that that often, but I think that maybe, maybe if he gets that boost, this is like one of the better center backs in the game. Now, some people like to have like the medium high work rate. It's usually the best work rate to have for defenders for aggressiveness and just being a good defender. But even though he's a low high guys, because of that transition, it's the transition speed that he has. That's the part that is kind of like making me, you know, this card could be one of the better center backs in the game, you know, especially for someone that gives you Brazilian links, because if he gets the upgrade in the future and Ether Millie Town can give you that link too, because Ether Millie Town has like crazy dribbling stats now, a lot of crazy stuff to work with. Like I'll show you the new thing that they did to Millie Town, right? So Ether Millie Town has dribbling but his physical is already in a decent area so you give him a shadow that's a transitioning monster right so a lot of people will definitely be working with that but this card 100 percent it needs the upgrade guys but he's still pretty good right now if you don't care about the pace as much because like i said that transition speed that he's working with is compensating really really well that's the main thing okay but if he gets any sort of upgrade in the future, guys, I could see him being really good. I like his defensive animations. I like that his physical stats is as high as it is. And I like that his transitioning was better than I thought it would be. Those are the main points uh, to make with this card. But yeah, just like the Sergio Canales card, it's a card that you have to pretty much uh, bank on to get that upgrade on. But it's pretty good right now as well. So uh, not Sergio Canales, he needs it. I feel like he needs it. Gabriel Paulista doesn't, Paulish doesn't need it as much, but it would be very, very nice for him. So, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.